Hello students, this is Oshani from Chinta.com. Today, I want to talk to you about a very beautiful book called The Lines and Curves. This is authored by Vasiliev and the English translation of it from Russian is authored by Anjan Kondo. Vasiliev was one of the key persons in the math circle and Olympiad movement in the Soviet Union. His book is really awesome. I have talked about it multiple times in this channel in the past. You should definitely have it in your little mathematical library at home. Today, we want to talk about one problem that is from this particular book, Vasiliev's book. This one also came up in the ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance 2012. So, this problem says that suppose we have a wall and a a ground and there is a ladder which is kind of slipping the ladder is named ab and there is a point p on the ladder that divides ab into 1 is to 2 ratio the length of ab is 3 so if it divides ab into 1 is to 2 ratio ap is 1 bp is 2 the question is what is the locus of the point p the fixed point P that divides AB into 1 is to 2 ratio. Now, what is the meaning of the word locus? The word locus means it is the path traced out, traced out by a moving point. So, one way to think about it is that you have to imagine this ladder slipping. You can in fact draw a few locations of the ladder so once you draw that draw the position of the point p the point p is continually dividing a b is into one is to two ratio so in that way it is fixed on the ladder but as the ladder slips the point p also moves so you can draw the next position of the ladder it's kind of maybe like this and the position of the point P is here. So, you can imagine the several positions of the point P together in a single picture as the ladder moves. The question is, what is the equation that is satisfied by these positions of the point P? Or if you think of it as a continuous curve, what is that equation of that curve? So, how do we go about solving this problem? Well, the first step to a problem like this is always try to draw a picture just like I have drawn, but maybe draw a little bit more. Maybe you start by drawing the position of the ladder when it was standing upright. So here was the point P. And you have sort of an idea of what is happening to the point P. It looks like a quarter of an ellipse. In fact, that's exactly what it will be. If we find out the equation, you will see that it will become an ellipse. But even before we start doing the physical calculations, you have to have this mental image of what's going on. That's why mathematics is an art as much as it is a science. So let's go ahead and draw the picture one more time. So it's like this. And we have the ladder. This is the point A. This is the point B. And this point is P. And let's say the coordinate of the point P is H, K. We have to find an equation that is satisfied by the point P. So it's an equation in X and Y, two coordinates. And if we plug in the positions of P, the X coordinate of the y coordinate of p, that equation will satisfy that particular coordinate. So, let's suppose this angle is phi and if I drop a perpendicular here and if I drop a perpendicular here, I know that this is 1 and this is 2, right? Okay, so this is k, this particular height is k and I know that sine phi is simply opposite that is k by hypotenuse that is 2 or sine phi is k by 2 okay and what is so this angle is also phi right now what is cos phi this is h right 
this little part is h because this is the x coordinate so this much is the y value and this much is the x value so if this is h then this is also h by it's a rectangle so what is uh, cos phi cos phi is h by 1 okay so now we have sine phi equals to k by 2 and cos phi equals to h by 2 we can square and add so sine square phi plus cos square phi is equal to k square by 2 plus h square by 1 but this is equal to 1 sine square theta plus cos square theta sine square phi plus cos square phi is 1 so this is 1 so we have k square by 4 plus h square by 1 so just replace h and k by x and y and you will get the final solution i hope you learned something from this video let me give you a challenge problem challenge if p is in the midpoint of the ladder then what is the locus of the point p we discussed this sort of problems in two different ways one is using coordinate geometry just like we have done trigonometry coordinate geometry and so on but one way is to do this using pure geometry pure geometry so can you find the locus of the point p when it's the midpoint of the ladder using pure geometry i think you will have a lot of fun with it if you're interested in mathematical olympiads physics olympiad research programs for school students and check the links in the description we have some wonderful programs since 2010 we've been doing this for 15 years a lot of great uh, experiences in on the way thank you for watching the video i'll see you in the next one bye